three meals, 30 minutes, and $3 or less, because everyone is feeling the pinch. Hey everyone, I'm Abby Sharp. Welcome to Abby's Kitchen. Let me pop in here to tell you about my sponsor today, Skims. And I'm so excited about this partnership because I've honestly been wearing Skims exclusively for about a year. And I recently got a new haul from the Fits Everybody collection and like, Hands down, I wear nothing else. Their bras and panties are so light and soft and comfortable, and they're designed to mold to your body. I wear them under like jackets or tanks when I'm going out and exclusively wear them to bed because again, they're just so breathable and light. And Skims is really an industry leader when it comes to size inclusive options. They're really creating the next generation of underwear for every body with sizes running from XSS to 4X and styles to suit different body types. The fabric also stretches about twice its size without losing shape. So even the products that I've worn a million times still look really great. So if you guys haven't tried Skims yet yourself, definitely start with their Fits Everybody collection. I promise you, you will be hooked. There's a reason why they have over 100,000 five-star reviews. So click the link in my description to check out the Fits Everybody collection and other Perfect Fit essentials. Plus you can get free shipping on orders over $75. And after you place your order, let them know that I sent you by selecting YouTube in the survey and selecting Abby's Kitchen in the drop down menu that follows. It really, really helps when they know that I sent you. Grocery costs these days are out of control. I think we can all agree that the price is not right. The price is wrong, bitch. And it's not just in your head. While food prices traditionally increase one to 2% each year, they increased 11% from 2021 to 2022, and there's a 5.9% predicted increase this year. Coupled with rising inflation, interest rate hikes, and a tumultuous job market, everyone is stretched really thin, both with their money and also their time. That said, we still need to eat. So your girl hauled her ass to Walmart on a mission to make three back to work and school meals and a bonus bedtime dessert slash snack each under 30 minutes for less than $3 per serving. Because yeah, I can only live on box mac and cheese for so long. Pretty long, but only so long. So let's start with breakfast. So I think probably you'd all expect me to do oatmeal because it is the ultimate fast, cheap, and cheerful breakfast. But I thought we'd do a little savory alternative. So we're gonna do this little shortcut shakshuka style breakfast. I'm putting the shakshuka in quotations because some of you guys get angry when I call it a shakshuka because I'm taking a few kind of canned liberties. Calm the f down folks. But it's gonna save us money and it's gonna save us time so I don't give a fuck. Let's do it. Over here. All right, we got some great value extra virgin olive oil. Oh, a little bit of that. And I got a massive onion. So I chopped the whole thing and I'm gonna use half of it now and half of it at uh, dinner time. Can go in. Now I was on a mission, not only to save you guys money, but also save you guys time. And there's probably no culinary job I hate more than peeling and mincing garlic. So I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I like to buy the jarred stuff. And you'll be happy to know that it was literally cheaper for me to buy the jarred stuff from Walmart than it was to buy them fresh. I don't know if it was just on sale or what, but it just seemed like a really good deal. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that. No smelly nails required. Next, I've got some tomato paste. I bought the tomato paste with herbs and spices. You can just go with regular, but I feel like this is gonna save us a little extra time. I don't have to go rummaging through my cupboards and my pantry trying to find a specific spice or like a melange of spices. It's already flavored for you. So it's done some of the work ahead of time and it's the exact same price as the regular. Like that. We're gonna coat our onions in the tomato paste. Next, I'm throwing down some cumin. Spices are like milla cents per serving, so they're always a great deal. Some cayenne for a little spice and heat, salt, and pepper. Oh, and it smells so good. Now, I like to add a little bit more veg action here. And one of the cheapest vegetables in my grocery store right now is zucchini. 
I think it's usually pretty inexpensive when it is in season because it's like a bumper crop. So when people grow zucchini, they grow way too much of it. So they really just want to get rid of it. So I've got two zucchinis here. I have already decided I chose the wrong pan for this. Yes, yes I did. Uh, we'll see how she goes. And this is one of my little shortcuts here. We've got canned tomato sauce. That way I don't have to, you know, cook this down for hours and let it simmer and like, or like puree it myself. <laughs> no one's got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm gonna add in that canned tomato sauce. And again, this is already seasoned, right? So it's got your garlic powder, onion powder, paprika in there. So it's adding some of that flavor. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. And just as we are reaching the top capacity of this pan, I'm gonna add a little of the canned diced tomatoes. Again, I use uh, the seasoned, so this one's the Italian seasoning. It's the same price as the unseasoned, so you might as well get a little extra flavor in there. So I'm not gonna put the juice, I'm just gonna add some of the actual chunks. Extra flavor. Okay, I think that's as ambitious as it's gonna get. So we still have to put eggs into this. Lord help me. I know you guys are watching from home being like, yeah, that's not gonna work, girl. That's not gonna work. Eggs, going down. Eggs these days are out of control. So I just went with your basic cheap and cheerful large eggs. Obviously, if you wanna spend a little bit more, you can get like the free range or the omega-3 eggs, etc. But these were the ones on sale. I'm gonna try to carefully do this. Oh, we did get a little shell out. This outfit will definitely need to be dry cleaned by the end of this. A little more salt, a little pepper. All right, just turn it down a little. I'm gonna carefully put a lid on just to poach those. Oh yeah, looking good. If you're dairy free, this is perfection all on its own, but I always like to top mine with a little bit of crumbled feta, just like that. And I slice up a multi-grain baguette from the Walmart bakery. This whole meal here, including the bread, clocks in at $7.92 for the whole recipe for four or $1.98 per serving. I'm pretty sure I've spent like $22 at brunch on the exact same thing. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's an eggy. Mm. Mm. That is so good. Mm. All right, for lunch, let's do salad. And one of my favorite cheap proteins is canned tuna. But to stretch that even further, one thing I always like to do is to add in some white beans. So that way you get some plant-based proteins and some fish, and it stretches your budget out really well. So let's do it. So one of the things I love to do with my salads is to kind of make my own little croutons. And if your bread is at the end of its life, this is a great way to use it up, especially if your whole family refuses to use the butts. So we're gonna use the butts. And all I'm gonna do is just rip this up. Obviously you can do this in like a huge batch and then use them for different purposes throughout the week, but I'm just gonna show you for one serving. And I'm all about the ripping technique. <laughs> I just have something really... <laughs> And I am all about the ripping technique because then you get all like crispy bits all over the little corners and jagged edges. All right, a tiny bit of olive oil just to crisp it up and lots of salt. All right, I'm just gonna throw this into a 450 degree oven while I prepare the rest. All right, to the bowl, we got some red wine vinegar, olive oil, oregano, salt, Pepper, I'm being summoned. I'll be right back. Coming! Then I got myself a head of leaf lettuce. It's definitely the cheapest lettuce that I was able to find, but she needs a good cleaning. So let's do that. Lettuce down. I know we always complain that lettuce is expensive as and it normally is, but I think I got this whole huge head of lettuce for under two bucks. So can't complain about that. I'm gonna give that a little drizzle of our vinaigrette. And the rest is going in here. Cucumber. Again, one of life's 
cheapest vegetables. You get a whole cucumber for less than two bucks. I've got some red onion here. These adorable little baby tomatoes were on sale. So yes, I definitely picked those up. Add some nice color. And I'm doing a combination of the chunk light tuna and some white cannellini beans because a whole can of this stuff is a buck 50. Obviously, make sure that you drain and rinse very well. Give it a good toss. And let's plate her up. All right, croutons done just in time for the salad plating. Yeah. Like, this is a big salad, right? You guys thought I was just gonna make like tiny salad portions, making a big mess. I, I should have chose a better platter. Like I'm really, oh, <gasps> I'm failing at the choice of serving wear today. This is hilarious. Okay guys, just give me a second. And because we clearly didn't have enough on our plate, I topped it all off with a little bit of feta because it totally worked well with the recipe and we already had it in the fridge from breakfast. This whole big salad works out to $8.24 per recipe or $2.06 per serving. And she looks satisfying. Whew. This is a full on hunger crushing combo. Lots going on, gotta get it all. Oh my gosh, I can't even, it's making a mess because I put too much. There's just too much food here, folks. Mmm, mmm. And you gotta get that little homemade croutons situation. Mmm. You're gonna be doing that hack more often, I swear. Get in me. Mmm, this is so good. All right, for dinner, we're gonna do pasta. It's such a cheap and cheerful staple in my house. We always love pasta night. So I'm gonna throw down some of these shells in some hot water and then we'll talk. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha, there we go. Okay, we're starting this recipe off similar to breakfast. A little olive oil, probably should turn on the burner. But this time with a bigger pan, cause I learn. All right, onion down. That's the second half of our onion from this morning. All right, garlic going down. All right, I'm gonna let that hang out for a hot minute. I gotta check on my pasta. Give it a stir. I'm gonna take a good gulp of pasta water. Pasta water retrieval. Good mission, good mission. And for this recipe, I'm employing the same money saving technique that I use with the lunch where we did kind of a little bit of tuna and a lot of beans. In this case, we're doing half a pound of ground chicken and a whole can of black beans. And I actually compared the prices of the ground chicken or ground turkey to the ground beef. I got this one on sale, so I was going for it. But in most cases, you'll probably save a little bit more if you do do beef. So if your family eats a lot of beef, you can probably save a little bit extra using that as well. Oh, Jesus. Oh no. You cut that out. Give that a hot minute and drain our pasta. All right. Thrown down our black beans, drained and rinsed. I got a packet here of the reduced sodium taco seasoning. And again, sometimes the healthier version is more expensive, but in this case, it was the exact same price as the regular sodium, so why not? Now, normally I love bell peppers with this recipe, but the price of bell peppers are out of control. Unless you like green bell peppers, in which case you're a psychopath. But instead I opted to go for frozen butternut squash. It is super inexpensive and it's so much more convenient than buying it fresh. Because trying to cut a butternut squash, it is like an occupational hazard, honestly. You're just asking to go to the ER. So I'm just gonna, you know what, why not? Add that fiber in. While that's heating through, I'm gonna add some chili seasoned diced tomatoes. Again, you might as well get the pre-flavored stuff. And finally, this is where the starchy cooking liquid will come in. That's just going to release all the flavor from the taco seasoning and make a nice little sauce. Season her up. Let's get the pasta in there. There's space, come on. Very carefully. Slow and steady. 
Finally, I'm gonna add in some frozen corn. You can also do fresh if it's still in season. And while it's still warm, we're gonna hit it with some shredded cheese. I went for pre-shredded because yes, you pay a little bit of a premium, but in my books, it's totally worth it to save the time. This recipe literally has it all. We got lots of fiber in all our veg, protein in the beans and the chicken, carbs in our pasta, and some fats in our cheese. And look at this. This worked out to $9.89 for the whole pan, or $2.47 per serving. Yeah, the cheese is key. All right, finally, we need a little something sweet. And I have always really just been super into graham crackers, like from childhood to today. They're inexpensive, they're easy to find, and they're naturally lower in sugar. So this is actually a sweet snack that I often make for myself and my kids. And you get a little bonus hunger crushing combo action in there if you'd like. Mama. Yes? <gasps> they're searching. Wait till he slams the door. <laughs> Nothing fancy going on here, folks, but it does taste really, really good. So I got my graham crackers. I just broke them into squares so they're easier to eat. I got some peanut butter. And honestly, in my Walmart, there wasn't a huge discrepancy between the natural peanut butter and the kind of like Skippy style peanut butter in terms of price. So I just went with the natural because that's what I usually buy anyways. A little smear. I feel like crunchy would be extra delicious on this but my peanut butter has to do double duty and my kids need it smooth. We got a banana here, which is obviously one of the most inexpensive fruits year round. But if you are a banana hater, cause I know I get a lot of banana haters in my comments, apples would be equally delicious. And because we're coming into fall, they are particularly inexpensive this year. So a little banana, boop, 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 boop. You gotta make a boop for each one or it doesn't count. Boop, boop. Okay, done. I only took half a banana for all these. And this is delicious just as is, but everything's better with a little chocolate chip action, right? So a couple little chocolate chips for fun. Because banana, chocolate, and peanut butter, she just hits different. We got a little fiber, protein, healthy fat action going on, and a whole lot of deliciousness. And it works out to 53 cents per serving. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. I love graham crackers. Mm. I don't know, I feel super inspired here. Like I feel like the biggest hesitation with a lot of these kind of budget friendly recipes that I read online is that they tend to take way too much effort and time. But under 30 minutes? That I can do. But if any of you have any affordable and super fast recipes that are in heavy rotation these days in your home, definitely leave a comment below. I'm sure we can all use some extra inspiration. Also, don't forget to hit up my description for my free hunger crushing combo ebook, and I'll see you next time on Abby's Kitchen. Bye.